This week Donald Trump decided that the best way to stop his impending downfall was to begin attacking as many American heroes, American institutions, and American locations as possible. His hit list has included everyone from John McCain to General Motors and Google to New York and California. How is this supposed to help Trump? He surely doesn't know. But now he's trying an even stranger tactic, attacking his few remaining allies. We should have seen it coming last week when Donald Trump attacked his fellow white supremacist Ann Coulter after she stopped being impressed with his crap. Now Trump is attacking, of all things, Fox News. Last night the network pulled Judge Jeanine Perot, one of Trump's biggest apologists, from the air after her hideous anti-Muslim remarks. This comes even as another huge Trump apologist, Tucker Carlson, is in danger of losing his Fox News gig. Trump started off this morning by simply demanding that Fox News put Perot back on the air while calling for his fans to fight on behalf of Perot and Carlson. But that wasn't enough, so by this afternoon Trump was posting rants like this, where Fox News weekend anchors, Arthur Neville and Leland Vittert, trained by CNN prior to their ratings collapse. In any event, that's where they should be working, along with their lowest rated anchor, Shepard Smith. So there you have it. Donald Trump is now calling for three Fox News hosts to be removed from the channel because they don't spend enough time kissing up to him. It's telling that Neville, Vittert, and Smith all seem to have job security, while Perot and Carlson don't. Those still riding the Trump train as it goes off the rails are going right off a cliff with him.